Hey everybody, I'm Molly Stanberry for MacMost, the video podcast that shows you how to get the most from your Mac, iPod, Apple TV, and iPhone. Germans and Brits finally got their hands on the iPhone for the first time over the weekend. Sales were strong, but not as strong as in the US. Close to half a million iPhones are expected to be sold in the UK during the Christmas shopping season, with predictions of 10 million iPhones to be sold worldwide by the end of 2008. France will be the next European nation to get the iPhone on November 29th. Happy 10th birthday to the online Apple Store. It opened on November 10th, 1997 and had $500,000 in orders and 4.4 million hits in the first 12 hours. Now keep in mind, that's before iMacs, before MacBooks, and before iPods. Those are some great numbers. It's 10 years later, and this week, Apple opened the iTunes Wi-Fi store at 360 Starbucks locations in the San Francisco Bay Area. San Fran joins Seattle and New York as cities currently offering the service. Would you like some Amy Winehouse with your double latte? Former Disney CEO Michael Eisner had some not-so-nice things to say about Apple CEO Steve Jobs and the iTunes Music Store. He said in a speech last Wednesday that the only entity making a profit from the sale of digital content is Apple, and that the studios make deals with Steve Jobs, who takes them to the cleaners. Ouch. In the past, it has been said that Apple hardly makes any money from downloads, but instead profits from iPod sales. So it's really difficult to tell what the real story is here. Post your thoughts as a comment to this podcast at macmost.com. Last week, we asked you to send us your tips instead of answering a trivia question to get a really cool prize. Well, 12-year-old MacMost fan Austin sent us a tip about having applications automatically start up upon login to your computer. To set applications you would like to start up automatically at login, go to System Preferences and then click Accounts under the System header. Click the Login Items button. Next, click on the plus or minus buttons in the bottom left corner of the window to add or remove applications from your list. And the next time you log in to your Mac, the selected applications will launch automatically. Thanks, Austin, for that hot tip. We actually liked how this worked so much, we're going to keep doing it. Submit your tips to tips at macmost.com. We'll pick one for the next episode, and that tipster will win a prize. Now here's Katie Bavard with our podcast salad segment. Hi, this is Katie. This week I have for you Hero Envy. Hero Envy is a comedy about four nerds and the geeky adventures they get into. Something tells me those geeky adventures don't involve women. Hey man, I need a quick fix. Can I play with one of your best toys? Get away! You're not working in the Matrix! Hey man, I didn't mean anything. Back off. These are Transformers. I wouldn't be caught dead with that other toy line. You know something, soldier? It's that kind of elitist attitude that led to a little organization called Cobra trying to take over the world! Want to put the fun back in web surfing? Stumble Upon is a free plugin for your Firefox browser that lets you choose subjects you're interested in, and then with the click of a button, it will display sites about those subjects randomly. Be warned, stumbling is highly addictive. Oh, and you can also find your favorite sites for others to stumble upon. Check it out at stumbleupon.com. Thanks for watching the MacMost video podcast. If you want to contact us or would like to sponsor an episode of MacMost, you can email us at podcast at macmost.com. Do you have a question? Well, we've got answers. Send your Apple-related questions to questions at macmost.com. We'll answer them on the MacMost daily vlog. Did you know you can now become a fan of MacMost on Facebook? Simply go to macmost.com slash Facebook. Check out the page and click Add to My Products on the right-hand side of the page. Now you're a MacMost fan. Be sure to visit MacMost.com for the latest Apple news. We post tutorials and tips to our website throughout the week where you can subscribe to the show. We've also got an iPhone version of the site, of course, and the largest collection of iPhone games by one company. 
so go check it out. Don't forget MacMost Review, our audio podcast with commentary and rumors. You can subscribe to MacMost and MacMost Review using iTunes, so tell your friends and please take the time to leave us a review. This is Molly Stanberry from MacMost. See you again soon. Former Disney CEO Michael Eisner had some not-so-nice things to say about Apple CEO Steve Jobs and the iTunes Music Store. <laughs> it wasn't on the prompter. Are you loading the guns? You could shoot yourself in the head? No! Did you like that? You didn't like it? It wasn't prompted! What am I supposed to do? Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 12-year-old MacMost fan Austin sent us a tip about having applications automatically start up on... Automatically? I like that. Uh -huh.